What up, y'all? Um, we got a dope guest in the house today, and um, I'm looking forward to talking to this man because he's so multifaceted. This is a guy, I, I almost don't even know where to go with it. it like, like, whatever label I give him, it almost feels like it's wrong because he's a, a rapper, he's an actor, he's a CEO, businessman, a uh, producer, writer. This guy does it all. <laughs> he's in Atlanta. Yeah. But he hails from Memphis. Yeah. Please welcome my man, Kia Sean. Kia, what up, brother? What up with you, Sean? How you doing, man? How everything is feeling blessed by the best today, man. Now, yo, you you always have the most clever one-liners. Like, like I can't wait as we yeah. get deep into the interview, because you just be spitting them off the top of the dome. Yeah, I think that's, I think the habit is just from, from rapping and just being in the studio so much, bro. Like, it's like you just become accustomed to like, you know, just the, what you see, what you're saying, how you're saying, what you're saying, and then making sure that what you're saying people can hold on to. I think every every conversation in a day is a transaction. And I think that there's an opportunity to be able to make that transaction something that'll be memorable, make a moment, or then there's those opportunities where you can be able to just kind of grow and learn someone else. So I think, you know, in, in a world full of 8 billion people, it's like, man, being able to say something that makes you remember or makes a person stand out, you know, it helps, especially when, you know, in this game and in the music or whatever, uh, whatever your hustle is, relationships are so important. So you're dealing with people. So like, you know, God bless through people. So you want to make sure that when dealing with people, you make sure you stay right here on the front of their mind and those slogans and those sayings or whatever helps helps with that, you know what I mean? It helps, and it, help, and it puts them in their vernacular. When I say something that people like, they be like, I'm gonna use that. I be say, oh, that's cool, just give me my publishing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, did that always come natural for you? Was, was you always yeah. like, since you was early, low man, like saying stuff, just spitting it off the dome? Yeah, I just, man, I see my kid, uh, my my youngest uh, son, Jordan, uh, Jordan Kingston, he, he has it too, like he just plays with words all day. You know what I mean? He's just different, different, uh, uh, double entendres, you know what I mean? He just likes to play with words. I think it's just a sport, you know what I mean? Or being able to just like, you know, to affectionate of words. You know, you spell words, words have spirits, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's important of the words you choose, you know what I mean? Because you can speak life to people's life, you know what I'm saying? With just a, a quick saying, to take it to the scriptures, God says, if you kept your, if you keep my words, they'll keep your words too. So, you know, I'm just, you know, a wordsmith in a sense, you know what I mean? Because those words and being able to speak things, you know what I mean? Those are the things that kind of got me to where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. Okay. I want to take it back for a second. Let's and, do it. Uh, you know, you originally, like I said earlier, you originally hailed from Memphis. Yes. Um, it feels like, and it could just be me. I know Memphis been shining for a minute, but it feels like Memphis, it, it, it's that Mecca now. It's it's yes. that hot spot. So much yes. dope talent is coming out. Because I remember when I was coming up, Yeah, I'm from I'm from up top in the East Coast. Yeah, I'm um, very familiar with, I'm very familiar with New York. We'll, we'll tap into that too. New York kind of exactly. make it start. Yeah. So for us, of course we knew Triple Six Mafia. Yeah. Uh, of course, we knew Ball and G. Yeah. You know, we knew Gangsta Boo, the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it ain't like it was them and kind of just them. Like, yeah, I'm sure it was. it was other folks from down there, but but now, it, it, like, it's exploded down there. I could I, I could talk about ten different, different current artists. rappers that are killing yes. the charts right now. Like what? Exactly. What is it about Memphis that's that's just blowing up in in this hip hop thing? I think uh, when you go back, you look at it. You, you you mentioned some very key key components: Three Six Mafia, uh, A Ball, MJG, Project Pat. Um, um, these oh, shout guys, out to Project Pat. That's right. Yeah, that's right. They laid the blueprint with not only the sound, but then like the the production. You know what I mean? The the tempos of the beats from Memphis, right? For a long time, the Memphis has always been known for our beats. Even when you have guys like DJ Paul, then you got Drummer Boy. Drummer Boy out of Memphis, one of my old clients that I used to sell beats for. So I kind of got on in New York. We'll talk more about that. But like, 
you know, beats. Memphis has always been known for having the dope beat makers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now you got a you got the sound that seems to be sampled because over from some like really like since 14, 15, 3 Six Mafia has been sampled a lot. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I think that that sound it started with that. You know what I mean? With Cardi B and people like that sampling Memphis and making that sound more current. You know what I mean? So now you see people that sampling a lot of it became trendy to sample three six mafia records and skinny pimp, which is another artist that I signed from Memphis, who's very, very, very much sampled a whole lot. Drake also with songs like Nonstop and things like that, and him having a, a um a, a father that's from Memphis kind of also shed it more light on what was going on in Memphis, but him using Memphis producers like Tay Keith, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To be able to do records like nonstop and a lot of the bigger, the the, uh, the 21, can you do so far? All these songs are produced by Tay Keith. So it really starts with the production. Memphis has always been known for the beat. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.